Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Darren Bontes from Critical Hits. We are at the first ever Comic Con Africa and I'm joined by Tians, the marketing coordinator from IO Interactive. Yes. <laughs> and the Hitman 2 dude right here. <laughs> Now, Tians, yeah. we are at the Kai Lama International Racetrack, yes. which is kind of convenient because Hitman 2 starts with a stage on a racetrack. Nah, nicely done. I know, so how's it feel? You getting a bit more experience here about racetracks that you add to the game of the 11th hour, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, as we were driving in here, like looking at the racetrack and stuff, it just, it just felt so, I don't know, almost like fate, you know, like being here. Having like our our gameplay that's now with Miami location available at the booth, like at a racetrack, as you said, it just matched so so nicely. Like I was just like, ah, that's cool. Cool. So let's dial the clock back a bit. 2016's yeah. come and gone. You know, all six episodes of Hitman are out. We've done all the elusive contracts. We're still doing all the continuous updates that I Interactive is adding to Hitman. Yeah. Now at that point, when you know, I say the bulk of the production wrapped up, yeah. and I Interactive, and they look back at the game. What did you guys see that you wanted to to perfect? tweak to improve upon in the formula that you created with that particular that particular hitman yeah i think what was what was really cool for us um you know particularly like like uh after Absol absolution and we went into this that just that uh whole whole sandbox assassination experience you know giving that complete like freedom of approach for how you want to plan out your your hit um how you want to stalk down your prey you know to to get the perfect assassination and, and we were very very happy uh, a lot of people that were new to Hitman like new players new joiners like they found it they found it really really great to to like get into the previous Hitman and experience how to how to do that like for example we had with our opportunity kills that allowed players to kind of like follow a little bit of a, a guided uh, way to have some extravagant flamboyant way of taking out your target so we uh, we really enjoyed that, and that's like still in the game. Or now, now it's 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 in Hitman 2, but it goes up to a whole nother, another level. Like with our opportunity kills, for example. Um, did you did you play the the Miami uh, track? Yes, yet? I was I was fortunate enough to play there at E3 earlier this year. Okay, cool. So you remember like where you infiltrated with like the pit crew uh, to get to? to I get went to for the uh, sniper. You position. went for the sniper <laughs> yeah. position. Okay, cool. Well, if for example, if you went with the uh, the, the pit crew option, um, th there's multiple layers now within these different opportunity kills. There's a, there's a moment where you can choose to either you know plant the bomb on her car or sabotage her vehicle by you know, uh, taking down the the bolts on her on her on the wheels or pouring down some sugar into the to the fuel to get her out of the car and then opening up a whole new other ways you know to take advantage of taking her out as she's now walking around again and stuff like that so um, we've just tried to like go to the next level and next level of everything that we've enjoyed with the previous game I mean, I adored those opportunity kills. There were so many, I mean, death by yoga yeah, in the yeah. Kaido level. I mean, arming a, an autonomous tank in the Marrakesh level. Yeah. And I just wanted to find out, with those actual opportunity kills, when you design them, mm. do you design a stage to, to complement those kills? Or are the kills designed first and then the stage follows? Or is it a bit of both, would you say? I would almost say like it's a, it's a little bit of both. Like uh, the, the team back home, like they're super dedicated in, in what they do. Like everybody's passionate about it. And and as a, as I can hear you a player yourself, you you realize that the locations themselves are what make the the game shine. You know, like uh, we, we've thought about it before as kind of like this Swiss cheese approach. You know, with uh, multiple little holes and ways and routes and, you know, that you can go through that you can that you can move around. Um, so when it comes to like different opportunity kills or just or Organic opportunities that you take advantage by using the environment, accident kills. You know, um, for example, in in Hitman 2, you might have noticed as you make your way up to the uh, like the party area, there's like these you know silver disco balls hanging from from the air, and one of the guys on the team were like. Wouldn't that be deadly if it fell on your head? <laughs> and uh, because first it was just like kind of like a scene prop, right? And everyone was like, "Yes, let's make it happen!" And boom, you know, now like it, it's a deadly weapon in the hands of 47. So it's kind of like this this back and forth where as we create, we discover new ways that we want to highlight this, or this could be really cool. Like the the, the way that this is positioned can grant for uh, this opportunity to come forth. So um, it's really kind of like discovery and creativity flowing all together. One thing I noticed when I played that. Miami level. The crowd AI seems to be a bit more weird, but smarter, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Well, well spotted. Yeah. That is one of the things that we have like updated. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a whole list of things. But for example, the, the combat AI, AI uh, they're a lot more dynamic now. They're a lot more smart. Dynamic in the fact that not all of them are now just kind of like 
copy paste, you know, uh, security guards of each other. Some of them are going to be like a good shot, and they'll be able to like like you know hit you. Some of them are going to be a little bit bad, and you know under stress and, and adrenaline, and they'll shoot like all around you, and you'll see things like pop and explode, and like bullets miss. Um, and they're going to work together more like a team. There's almost like a like a central central guy that's going to help, you know, like maybe call out some things, and they're going to try and flank you. So uh, if 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 the gunplay is, is something that that you really enjoy, which also we've taken to a to a whole new level, new new sounds, new guns, uh, all, all of this, like everything that we could just like one up, we did. Um, but yeah, so if, if you really enjoy that, it's going to give a lot more dynamic like gameplay with the combat AI. Now, Age of 47, I mean, he's deadly with his hands, he's deadly with a big fish. Yeah. Now, what are you allowed to tell us about the, the new tools of the trade that will be available to him? Um, so uh, some of the things that we've, we've uh, shown so far that we are bringing into, uh, into Hitman 2, for example, is we're bringing in a, a, a dart gun, uh, we're bringing in a flash grenade as well as stun grenade, and then one of the biggest things that we're very happy about that our community have been asking for a lot is the briefcase. So the briefcase is back, and that is now like an extra, almost like puzzle piece that you get to play with uh, so you can hide your you know, sniper rifle in the in the in the suitcase and walk right past the guards and have that awesome like like agent you know like fantasy experience of like you know I'm here to like do a job and they don't even know you know that I've got this gun on me uh, but not only sniper rifles you can put like any other weapon or item or bomb or whatever in there and you can for example throw it throw it over a wall somewhere or leave it somewhere and other NPCs or guards will pick it up because you know what happens to unattended yeah. luggage yeah. right <laughs> so uh, and then they will actually carry it in for you so you can get the AI to smuggle things for you as you plan your way so it opens up so many more, more ways to, to play so many more uh, deadly items that that he can just take advantage of with his mind of like agent 47 being like the ultimate assassin now it's the middle of September games out in November yeah we've only seen like we only know two stages so far I'm not used to this but by now you know with the, with the usual marketing blitz yeah. we know all six stages but yeah. we, we've seen a tease of Colombia and yeah. obviously you can't tell us what Colombia is going to be like without you being assassinated yourself <laughs> by exactly, agent yeah. PR I need to be careful but yeah. can you tell us about the, the, the character of Colombia because I mean this feels like such an unusual departure mm. from from the stages we've been in already with 47 yeah like what with Colombia what we're very excited about is uh, it's it's bringing that like like dark and, and, and uh, mysterious kind of like rainforest element to it. You know, that's like with, with our teaser trailer we released that why we said, you know, like welcome to the jungle. Um, so, so so foliage is gonna play a big part in, in Hitman 2. Um, but not only Hitman 2, also carrying over to the previous game with the legacy pack, which I can elaborate on in a, in a second. But so, you know, with that with that foliage gameplay, um, we're really excited where you can then, you know, hide, hide within it, hide bodies within there, weapons within there. It's it's like a whole new uh, just element to the to the strategy that you need to use. Um, so the vibe is going to be it's going to be really cool. Like um, I'm excited for you guys to, to to see more. So just hang tight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, the thing is like uh, our, our fans also like some people really they love to see like everything like I want to I want to know where we're going like this globe trotting adventure all this exotic locations like give me give me give me I'm, I'm so excited I'm and we love that that there are people like so excited want to know where it's going but other fans are like hey guys I don't want to spoil too much I don't want to see everything I want to discover it for myself like so we're trying you know we're, we're trying to like also get the balance um, listening to our fans and and uh, just planning it the, the way we think is like really good you mentioned legacy pack what do you want to tell me about that all right so the so the legacy pack is part of our world of assassination that we introduced Introduced, you know with the previous game and that is basically to sum it up we are remastering and retrofitting all hitman to like like contents and features and updates um, into the previous games content all the locations so if you are uh, you know a season one owner and you purchase hitman 2 you will get all of the the, the, the updates so updated UI picture in picture briefcase crowd mechanics uh, you know the, the foliage like uh, combat AI all of that will be remastered to your season one locations and you'll get to like pl play them like all over again uh, with a completely new new way for example like in, in Colorado now there's gonna be these over grown bushes you know so that's it completely changes up the gameplay of it itself and as I said like it's completely free 
for everybody owning the uh, uh, season one already it'll just um, go, go on over that is now what we call as the the legacy pack so ever expanding all under one roof world of assassination right. with, the, with the story of hitman with the first hitman from 2016 i mean it felt like every episode ended on a cliffhanger i was like ah oh, i can't wait <laughs> another three months for this yeah. I just want to find out, in terms of volume, of the amount of story that's going to be told in Hitman mm. 2, I mean, can, can you tell us how much more story we can expect? Are we going to see a lot more cliffhangers? Are we going to see a few threads, you know, untangled? Yeah, I think I think fans can definitely expect more uh, more from the more depth almost from the from the story this time because as you mentioned previously with the episodic uh, release model, um, we were limited to the to the storytelling that you kind of had to wait, you know, for the next episode to drop to 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 f find out what happens next, and it's easy to kind of get 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 lost a little bit with uh, the story like where it's where it's going like that when it's far apart so that's why we're very happy now with hitman 2 having everything release all at once like all the locations drop all at once it gives us a lot more freedom in our storytelling it gives us a lot more potential to go more in depth in it um and uh so with agent 47 we're also going to going to see a bit more about him as he's busy hunting down the elusive target uh, the shadow client um we're going to discover a few things about his past that will make sure that things are never the same again, you know, so we're excited about that. You say elusive targets, so we can expect to see those guys back. Of course, you know, <laughs> live model, that is that is how our game is made, you know, like we, we don't want to just like release a game and be like, okay, thank you, bye-bye. We want to continually engage with our community, we, we want to continually update and enhance. Um, so yeah, elusive targets uh, will be back. Um, we will be able to, you know, play through those again, uh, as well as escalation contracts and player-created contracts, like all the, uh, the, the the live updates that you had with the previous game. We're going to continue on that because we want that constant interaction with our fan base, with our community, and uh, just continue to expand this world of assassination. Yeah, I mean, it kind of sounds like by bringing out all these episodes at once, it's like you've got more hands to work yes. on this model. I mean, that just sounds like winner winner for everyone. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, nicely spotted there. That is that is, that is one of the one of the reasons why everything all at once now means we have now suddenly a bigger range like a whole like like full course meal to now to now work with to 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 use our live con content with so across the different locations whereas you know previously we, we had to kind of lim limit it to the locations that were already l released and things like that so it's it's just a positive all around like you say like it's gonna be a lot more uh, variety like it's gonna be great all right final question um, how long have you been in south africa for now like right now yeah this week, uh, i just i just arrived the weekend right. and i'm flying out again on sunday all right is this your so, first time in south africa no i am actually uh, south african uh, okay yeah i uh I, I i'm born here grew up in pretoria but uh i have since moved to to denmark because uh, i have a danish wife and therefore I went over there and I went to Akkadoof was there so I tracked them down and uh, it's been really great working with them the team is awesome so really you like kind of like you know like nudge the um, development team and I say hey you know maybe you could have like a South African location in one of the uh, hitman stages you know maybe you could just murder a bit in the Kruger National Park or you know maybe Long Street in Cape Town would yeah, be pretty yeah. cool what do you think of that I think that sounds excellent man I should I should see what I can do I should definitely yeah. talk to them I mean you know that I'm I'm, uh, I'm not the only South African there now are you aware that uh, our voice actor David Bateson who plays uh, Agent 47 he's an original uh, Durban Durban boykey like uh, yeah so we're like representing the world scene all over and uh, yeah he's doing great like people love like his voices for Agent 47 so it's really cool working with him as well yeah all right so that's Hitman 2 is out in November on PC Xbox one and PS4 hopefully on Nintendo switch one day so I can take my murder with me on the go yes you know, that's living the dream right there. But Tians, thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you so much, Darren. Right. Awesome. Cool. Uh, switch this off here. Yeah?